So this is Port Lincoln Caravan Park. It's a very busy caravan site. The people coming and going all the time, every morning. Dozens of people going and dozens of people leaving. We've been here a, a few days now and we haven't really had a chance to get out and do much because the weather's been a bit changeable. Very much so. Look, it's brightened up again. Yeah, it's We're raining a minute to go. <laughs> it's been changeable and it's gone from warm to cold. We've even had a chance to test out our long trousers and, uh, and warm jackets. And Jules tested out her gloves one day. Gloves and scarves. Gloves and scarf. But um, yeah, it's, Port Lincoln's a lovely place. It's got a population of about 16,000. 16, it's got Coles. Coles, Kmart, and it's fine. It's fine. And got lots of op shops? Five, and I've only been in one because <laughs> he doesn't want to go in. He wasn't let me go in. But we have been in some coffee shops. I don't stop using any <laughs> coffee shops. We found a wonderful <coughs> coffee place called Boston Bay Coffee. Boston Bay Coffee. But uh, they don't do hot chocolate. <laughs> I think they only do chocolate. Uh, that was very good. Anyway, one day we did manage to get out. We went to Whaler's Way. It was that really, was beautiful. Yeah, it was, it was on the par with Murphy's Haystacks. Yeah. Lustry though? <laughs> yeah, scarf and gloves. Scarf and gloves. In fact, it was so windy I couldn't even get the drone up. It did warm up later though. Yeah, the day, the day got better, but it was still too windy to get the drone out. Anyhow, we did get some footage, so we'll hopefully show you some footage of that, and we will get some bits and bats around Port Lincoln and show you that. See you later. Bye. Come down to Port Lincoln for sure and just had a walk after lunch. This is Vitura Grain Handler, the biggest one in South Australia. So, this is Whalers Bay, and it's not very warm, very strong wind coming in from the south, and it's making it very cold. So, for the first time on our trip, we've got long trousers and warm jackets on. Anyhow, this is the first stop on the trek on Whalers Bay. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some good footage, and we'll show you more later.
in the microphone. So what's this place called, Gil? Forgotten. We're forgotten. Forgotten we're Beach. Many. <laughs> <laughs> we're Forgotten Beach. Anyhow, we're the only ones here. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at it. Unspoilt beach. Just us. And some fairy wrens. And some fairy wrens that landed on the car, which really when pleased Gil. When we arrived. That's only wildlife we've seen. Oh, that's gone for Burton. Funny. There you go, that's how windy it is. Jill's hat went for Burton. <coughs> Alright, we've had a great afternoon. We'll catch you later. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. We're just entering the Port Lincoln National Park. We got our pass from tourist information and we're hoping this beautiful day is suitable for photographs in the park. We won't be able to put the drone up though unfortunately it's a national park but uh, hopefully we'll get some other shots. We've been for our Covid winter vaccination fourth, this morning. Fourth vaccine. So booster, winter or fourth whichever you want to call it and so um, hopefully we don't have any side effects from them while we're out. Cause and, and no sore arm. No. Don't usually feel a bit off till later in the day, so we should be okay. Anyhow, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. So this is Fisherman's Point, Jill tells me, from her map reading. Yet another beautiful bay on the Lincoln Park Peninsula area. And we're the only ones on the beach. There are some people above in the free camp area. But yeah, we're the only ones on the beach.
time we've come to Cape Donington Beach on our drive walk tour of Lincoln National Park. Jill's hugely impressed by these boulders here, which we'll go and have a look at. And over here in the distance is the very boring Kate Donington Lighthouse. Pathetic, isn't it? Penny for your thoughts. She's just listening to the sea. This is our last day now in Port Lincoln. We're off tomorrow. We're not sure where, but we're off. <laughs> we're <laughs> heading north. Yeah, we're heading north. We've been here in Port Lincoln for nearly two weeks. Two weeks tomorrow. So we've had a great stay in Port Lincoln. The weather's been absolutely brilliant for us. Apparently, the locals say it's not normally like this. No, it's it's usually a bit windy and rainy at this time of year, but it's brilliant at the moment. Anyhow, Port Lincoln's wonderful. It's a wonderful place. We're on the the main foreshore now, and uh, it's very quiet, but very well kept, very clean. I'm not sure we'd come back to Port Lincoln. We've no reason to come back. Having done it once, but yeah, it's a beautiful place. So tomorrow's the day when we set off. I suspect we don't come back to the Air Peninsula. No, possibly not <laughs> even back to the Air Peninsula. We're not fishermen. <laughs> and we're too many places to see, I guess. Yeah, too many other places to see. But yeah, Port Lincoln's a lovely place. We've had a great time. So we'll see you soon, and don't forget... Like and subscribe. Bye. I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by.
by you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, we're in. We left Wyella this morning and we travelled for an hour. <laughs> a full hour. <laughs> and we're here at Pandura Cheap Station. Pandura Station, yes. Which is apparently 800 <laughs> square kilometres and has 17,000 sheep. Although we've only, I've only seen about a dozen in a field nearby and now we can't see any. <laughs> We're the only people here. This is um, Nutbush Retreat, which is part of Pandura Station, and there are about 30 caravan sites. And we're the only ones. And I don't understand why, because it's a fabulous place. Ah, I do, I do see some sheep over there. We'll go and have a look. We'll go and have a look. Anyhow, this is the end of our Air Peninsula trip. Six weeks on the Air Peninsula. And we've had a fabulous time, but this is the last stopover point. And tomorrow, we start the trip up the guts. Yeah! Which we're actually quite looking forward to. Even Jill, aren't you Jill? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll show you some footage of Pandura Station. We hope you've enjoyed the footage we've done on the Air Peninsula. And don't forget to... Like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye. So this, we've come through to the accommodation area. It's a lovely little courtyard next to the recreation room and also the swimming pool, swimming pool. which is actually closed for winter. It's closed for winter. <laughs> it's 26 degrees today and as you can see, beautiful blue sky, but it's closed for winter. Doesn't feel like winter to this Lancashire lass. This is an original part of the building as you can see and in with the chimney and in here is the camp kitchen so they use they did use this for the seasonal workers who came for the shearing but they've moved over to somewhere else but what I found interesting was this was the dinner bell That's so that they know when they're actually over there shearing. <laughs>